Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top 10 spring summer trends for this year that are wearable trends. Obviously we see a lot of trends on the runway that would be kind of difficult to bring into everyday life like this one. I have picked 10 trends for the spring summer that are very wearable and are gonna fit perfectly into your wardrobe. Every single thing that I show you guys in this video will be linked in the description. Every item of clothing, every pair of shoes, every single handbag, every item of jewelry will all be linked below along with my sizes for reference. I'm so excited to tell you that today's video is actually in partnership with Farfetch, which is one of my favorite and most loved brands ever. If you don't know who Farfetch are, they are basically a one-stop shop for all things designer. If I'm looking to make a designer purchase, they are who I go to because they always have such a massive amount of stock. If I can't find something elsewhere, Farfetch usually always has it in stock for really good prices and they also have really good customer service. Literally the most lovely customer service team I have ever spoken to in my life. Honestly, I never really look anywhere else. If I'm looking to buy something designer, I always go straight to Farfetch because I can almost guarantee they will have it every single time. I have bought so many things from them as you guys are about to see. I am so excited to be working with them and I know that you guys are excited as well because I do have a discount code for you which will be on screen right now for you to use to save yourself some money on your next purchase. The discount code is valid for all of the brands that I shop the most and all of the brands that I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. Before I get into the trends, I'm gonna show you guys my top picks that I've got from Farfetch, along with two new additions. Most of these items you've seen me wearing over and over and over again. They're my most loved pieces in my wardrobe. First off is my Coach Tabby handbag. I use this all the time. It's one of my favorite handbags. It's just so simple. It is my only white creamy handbag that I own. Such good quality, obviously. I got this last year and I have worn this over and over and over again. You guys have seen me styling this a million times because it is just such a versatile piece. I absolutely love it. My Chloe sandals are another item in my wardrobe that I wear all the time. I think they are just so simple, so chic, so classy looking. I think they're so easy to style in a million different ways. I got these from Farfetch as well. I know you guys are going to be super excited about the discount code for these trainers because I know so many of you love them. These are obviously such a popular trainer brand, but for good reason. I have these in black and nude as well, and I just wear them so often. Me and Lou both wear them. I just think they're so easy to wear, so easy to chuck on. I decided to get the nude and the black shade just because they're colors that I wear most frequently in my wardrobe and I'll be styling these up in today's video as well. I also got my Castana wedges from Farfetch. I wear these all the time and I absolutely love them. I just feel like investing in one good quality item of clothing is so much better than spending less money on an item that you need to replace over and over again. And these Castana wedges are such good quality. They are so comfortable and I just think they are so beautiful and so elegant. The discount code is also valid for for Jimmy Choo, which is really exciting. They are my favorite brand to get high heels from because they are the comfiest heels in the world, literally the comfiest heels in the world. They are just so beautiful, so chic, so sleek, so sexy, and they will last you a million years. I just love them. I'm definitely gonna buy myself a pair with my own discount code because I just love Jimmy Choo shoes. I feel like you can never have enough. Now onto the two new items in my wardrobe. Firstly is my new Chloe bag. I'm so excited about this, it is so beautiful. I got this on Farfetch, obviously. I absolutely love this bag. I've worn it every single day since I got it. It's just one of those pieces that you just like, oh, I need a bag, I'll use that one because it's just so beautiful and it goes with literally every single outfit. It is so gorgeous. This is actually a little sneak peek to one of the trends. And then lastly, I got myself a Jacquemus bag. I never know how to pronounce this brand. Jacquemus? Jacquemus? Jacquemus, I don't know how you say it, but I have been eyeing up these bags for such a long time and Farfetch always has such a good selection. I decided to go with this one. It is the Le Chiquito Moyen. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. It is literally the perfect size. I love how different this bag is. The handle is really sturdy. It's just beautiful. And you will see this featured in today's video as well. So they are all of my top picks from Farfetch. You're gonna see me styling these bits up in today's video. They just slide so perfectly into my wardrobe and I'm sure they will yours too. So let's get started with trend number one. So let's start with trend number one, which I'm really excited to tell you is hyper feminine. Lots of designers featured hyper feminine outfits on the runway. You can see one from Simone Rocha right here. I'm really excited about the hyper feminine trend because you guys know if you've been following me for a while, I love all things frilly, 
girly, feminine, flouncy, floral. It is just my absolute vibe. So I'm so happy about this. I decided to go with a Zimmerman dress because I don't know about you, but when I think of a very feminine designer, you can always go to Zimmerman. I got this dress from Farfetch. It is so beautiful. Obviously at Zimmerman, the quality is gonna be incredible. Farfetch have loads of different Zimmerman dresses available for you guys. So I'll pop some in the description that are my absolute favorites and I will try and find a link to this exact one if I can. I just feel like Zimmerman nailed the hyper feminine trend. I think this is such a beautiful dress that will last you for years and years and years. It is just so stunning, so beautiful, and probably my favorite dress in my entire wardrobe. I decided to style this up with my Jacquemus bag because I feel like it just fits so perfectly. I feel like it fits the colors very well. And also my Castana wedges. They're my absolute favorite shoes. They are just the perfect shoes. I love my Castana wedges. I get so much wear out of them come spring, summer. And I feel like this is the perfect embodiment of the hyper feminine trend, but in a way that is super wearable. Another trend that I saw a lot that I thought, oh my God, that would fit so perfectly into my wardrobe was white suits that came up a lot and i feel like this kind of gives off the vibe of a white suit and also cohorts there were lots of designers like brandon maxwell and lma that were doing cohorts on the runway and i thought you know what i'm gonna do my own spin on that and get kind of like a loungewear type cohort i grabbed this from zara i've just paired it with my chloe bag that obviously i got from farfetch and my mini uggs which have their own little special mention at the end of the video because i love them so much and i feel like this is just a perfect like running around the city i've got errands to run super casual yet chic outfit i love this i love the fact that i'm wearing a cohort so i'm on trend but i feel super comfortable and and this is something that's going to stay in my wardrobe for years. I also feel like I could wear the top separately and the bottom separately. They just slot so perfectly into my style and into my wardrobe. I really like this outfit. I think it's just so simple and casual, but it's just so comfy and cute. It just goes so perfectly. I love this trend. I love the cohort trend and I love the way I've added it into my wardrobe to fit my style. The next trend that I spotted that I thought was just absolutely perfect and could fit into your wardrobe so easily was the puffball trend. We saw brands like Celine showcasing this on the runway and I just absolutely love the vibe of it. I bought this dress not too long ago. I think it is from lovers and friends i'm pretty sure i will obviously leave a link in the description and i just thought that this fit the puffball trend so perfectly without being over the top i feel like you could go very extreme with the puffball trend but personally that just wouldn't be my vibe i feel like this very much gives a nod to the puffball trend without it being over the top and still being very very wearable and also a piece that you have to keep in your wardrobe for years to come i paired it with my jimmy Choo's in black because i just thought that they would be the perfect match for this dress the dress does a lot of talking, it is very loud, it's very kind of flamboyant and backless, there's a lot going on, it's very shimmery as well. So I just thought keeping it simple with my Jimmy Choo's would be the best option and I just absolutely love this outfit together. I think they're two beautiful pieces that complement each other so nicely and also kind of follow that puffball trend without being too over the top. The next trend is actually bulky bags and branded bags, which I feel like my Chloe bag does so well. I've obviously styled up my Chloe bag throughout this whole video, so I'll pop some clips there for you to look at while I talk. Lots of designers like Tory Burch and Chanel showed branded and bulky bags on the runway. Obviously we've seen the micro bag, the mini bag trend, all of last year and i feel like bulky bags are really making a comeback i feel like there's just something about them that will never ever go away every woman likes to have their bulky bag and i feel like my chloe bag is the perfect mix of not only being a bulky bag but also a branded bag it's kind of like two birds one stone with that bag i absolutely love it and i wear it so often Another trend that I saw on the runway a lot that I, that I think is going to be a really big thing for 2022 is the kind of bohemian style. There are a lot of designers showing a kind of bohemian vibe with their outfits. I do absolutely love the bohemian vibe, but I decided to kind of style it up a little bit more, make it a little bit more classy and kind of do it in my own way. I decided to go with this dress from For Love and Lemons. I think the kind of strings on the sleeve give it that very boho look. I think the ruching and the floatiness of the dress and the kind of you know, milkmaid vibe of it makes it very bohemian and I think it just kind of does the whole bohemian vibe while still staying true to my personal style. I decided to pair this dress with my Chloe sandals because I thought, you know, boho vibe, I'm gonna go with a nice pair of sandals. And then I also decided to go with my Jacquemus bag just because I feel like the Jacquemus bag just goes so perfectly with it. It's like a linen-y texture. So it really does give off that kind of boho -y vibe. I just absolutely love this dress, this entire outfit. And I feel like it's the perfect way to kind of wear the boho trend without going full on like, you know what I mean? 
that type of boho and this type of boho which I think is definitely more wearable for me and fits into my wardrobe a lot easier. The next trend that I've been seeing a lot, and I'm sure you guys have too, is platforms. They're literally everywhere. Everywhere I look, I see platforms. A lot of designers like Givenchy and Stella McCartney showcase a lot of platforms on their runway shows. I decided to go with my Castana wedges for this trend, just because they are so wearable and so comfortable. I feel like the whole platform trend as a whole could be quite short-lived. So I feel like the Castana wedges, wedges never really go out. They're not like a trend piece. I feel like it kind of gives a nod to the trend without jumping right Right on it and spending a lot of money on an item that you won't be wearing in six months time so that's why I decided to go with my Kastana wedges for the trend I decided to just pair them with this beautiful dress that I got from Zara along with my coach bag my trusty old coach bag I wear it all the time I've styled it up a million times for you guys I know so many of you guys have got it already and I feel like it is the perfect summer bag and obviously with my farfetch discount code if you are interested you can get it for an even better price but that is what I went with for the platform trend. I feel like it's so easy to wear, so easy to slot into your wardrobe. Literally so many brands are doing platforms right now. They're just all over the place. I feel like the wedge is a really good way to go if you kind of want to stay on trend without spending money on something that you won't be wearing in a year's time. Another trend that I saw a lot was colour and lots of brands like Saint Laurent and Valentino showed a lot of colour on their runway shows. I decided to pop on a little pink shirt from Zara. I feel like everybody needs a little pop of pink in their wardrobe and I paired it with some blue jeans. We've got a really beautiful kind of pastel spring vibe outfit going on. I feel like it's the perfect way to add some colour to your outfit without it being really really bright because if you follow me for a long time you know that I don't really do bright colours. I decided to pop on my Chloe sandals with this and my coach handbag and it just worked out as the perfect outfit to add a little bit of colour and obviously follow the colour trend that's going on this year. Another trend that I saw a lot on the runway was kind of like an elevated white dress, like a really beautiful white dress. There were some really stunning ones on the runway from designers like Rodate, Mark Arian, Erdem. There were some really stunning white dresses. I decided to go with this one that I already own. This is from an Australian designer called Dish. I feel like this is such a beautiful classic white dress but it's definitely got that elevated kind of fancy look to it with the beautiful big sleeves and the way the skirt flows out as well. I decided to pair this dress with my Hermes sandals and my Chloe bag. I feel like you could definitely pair the Castana wedges with it. I have done before and it looked beautiful, but I feel like with this type of look, I want it to be kind of like a beachy kind of vibe, just like a really casual summer day. That's the type of outfit I would wear. This dress is so wearable. It fits into my wardrobe so perfectly. I know the bows are a little bit extravagant, so it kind of follows the fancy white dress trend, but I feel like it's still so wearable. It's nothing over the top, and I just think it's such a beautiful outfit and a beautiful beautiful trend to incorporate into your wardrobe this year and every single year after this year because who doesn't want a beautiful little white dress. Next up we have the blazer trend. Obviously we saw this last year, seeing this this year as well already. I feel like blazers aren't going anywhere, they're such a beautiful classic wardrobe staple. Mine is just from Zara, I paired it with this jumper from Everlane, a nice pair of jeans, my Vaja trainers and my coach bag. I feel like it's just the perfect outfit. Another trend that I saw a lot was kind of like a school uniform vibe, so I decided to put a white shirt underneath my jumper with the blazer which kind of feels like you're hitting two trends in one with the blazer and the kind of like school uniform vibe with the jumper and the shirt as well i really like this outfit i think it's so beautiful i think everything works so nicely together my vader trainers are honestly so comfortable and they go with everything i've worn them to death i want to get them in more colors as well because they're just so comfortable and so wearable they just look perfect with literally any outfit so that is this trend i absolutely love it and i think it is so so wearable and then the last trend I have to show you guys is obviously the mini Uggs. They're just, you've got to mention them. You just have to mention them. I feel like Uggs have made such a comeback this year. Obviously, I've styled them up in this video. I wear them all the time. They are such a wardrobe staple for me. They're just that piece that I want to throw on if I want to be comfy. If I'm just running errands, they are so comfy and so warm. And they're just the best thing ever. You can get yours on Farfetch and use my discount code to save a little bit of money on them. I think I'm going to get them in another colour because I wear them so much. I had to give an honourable mention to mini Uggs alone <laughs> as an item in your wardrobe because I feel like we're just seeing them everywhere. And usually when an item is kind of oversaturated, it kind of turns me off a little bit. But I think the things with mini Uggs is that they're just so cute and so comfortable that you're just like, I kind of got to get them because they're just the best shoes ever. 
So they are all of the trends that I have to share with you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some outfit inspiration. I hope you found some new pieces to maybe purchase and add to your wardrobe. I feel like I've shown you some really good outfits and some really good fits and obviously shown you how to wear some trends that have been on the runway but in real life because a lot of the time runway trends are kind of like a little bit out there and you can't really wear them on a day-to-day -day basis but I've tried my best to kind of tone them down and kind of give a nod to the trend without going full out and kind of looking a little bit wacky on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you so much again to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. They are honestly one of my absolute favourite brands. I shop from them all the time. They are just where I go to if I want to make a designer purchase because I know that the whole process will be so smooth. I know that they will have the stock that I want. Their customer service is incredible. And obviously you guys can use my discount code which is on screen right here to save yourself some money on your purchase. I will link all of the bits that I've shown you in this video in the description. So happy shopping you guys. I hope you guys have had a lovely Sunday and thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you next week. Bye.